for some, harvesting season has already begun, meaning it's time to go out and see what the crops have produced. In tonight's From the Ground Up, we spoke with a farmer about harvesting and how his returns are looking so far. As you see, this machine behind me is a good example of a, of a soybean harvesting machine where we need to have a dry plant, a dry seed so we can harvest properly and have an optimum, you know, 13% moisture. Corn is harvested differently in that it needs to be at 15% moisture for optimum drying. In the case where fungicides are used for corn, it will take longer for the corn to dry, which is why soybeans are harvested earlier. And so far this year, Jackson has been having a few issues with harvesting the beans. We have a lot of green stems. The pods are dry, the bean is dry, but yet the stem is, is green. And when we harvest a soybean, the whole plant goes into the harvester and is threshed and the bean is separated out. Well, that green stem has a tendency to wrap around shavs and plug sieves and, and slow the combine. It's no secret that Southeast Iowa faced a drought this year. And just like any other farmers, Jackson was concerned with the issues the drought may have caused his crops. But so far, he's been pleasantly surprised with the results. As we get into our crops, we're finding out they are uh, quite a bit better than we had anticipated despite the drought. And granted, the drought was only widespread in a third of Iowa. Um, and it didn't really affect prices because there are enough the outlook is good in northern Iowa that the prices haven't been depressed. The late rain that we saw in the farming season didn't do much for the corn, but it did provide a nice boost for the soybeans. However, it's still not enough to yield the results farmers are looking for. But every year is different in farming, and Jackson understands you can't get down after one year. This is my 43rd year, uh, 43rd crop. I had my best crop ever last year, uh, uh, followed by a crop which kind of brings a little bit of humility to, I think, to any farmer. Uh, but at the same token, it gives us uh, bright, happy feelings that, you know, agriculture is able to feed, you know, the world. Jackson started harvesting his crop in the third weekend of September and hopes to be done by the end of this month.